Okay, so let's have a look at some uh, complex numbers. Here we go. Given that uh, z over z plus 2 equals 2 minus i, where z is a complex number, find z in the form a plus i b. Okay, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, probably the shortest method is to kind of keep the z. So if I just rearrange this, I'm going to get z equals. 2 minus a times by uh, z plus 2 and then I just expand out the brackets so therefore I'm going to get z equals 2z plus 4 minus iz minus 2i once I've got that if I rearrange this so I get all the z's to one side I'll end up with uh, z minus 2z plus iz is equal to 4 minus 2i from here if I then simplify this so I'm going to have uh, minus z plus iz equals 4 minus 2i. If I then factorize, take out the z as a factor, I'm going to end up with z minus 1 plus i equals 4 minus 2i. I can then rearrange to get z equals 4 minus 2i over minus 1 plus i. Okay, now I've got it in this form here. Remember what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to find z as a plus i b. Well, at the moment I need to get rid of this bottom part, uh, this denominator here. So I do that by rationalizing the denominator. So I'm going to end at 4 minus 2i here, minus 1 plus i. If I times that by minus 1 minus i, minus 1 minus i on the top as well. That will in effect get rid of um, the imaginary part on the denominator. And if I do that, well I'm going to end up with 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, minus 4i plus 2i That's going to be positive, that's going to be negative, minus 2, all over, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, we'll get cancelling out, and the other thing that's left will be i times minus i, which will give me a 1. And then I just need to simplify this, so therefore z is going to be minus 6 minus 2i over 2 which therefore equals minus 3 minus i. Okay, question number 2. Find b where 2 plus bi over 1 minus bi equals 7 tenths plus 9 tenths i. Okay, we're going to carry on with this method similar to the last question if we basically rationalize the denominator and basically get rid of the imaginary part. So 2 plus bi, if I times that by 1 plus bi, and then I've got the same on the bottom, so 1 minus bi, 1 plus bi. And I remember that that is still equal to 7 tenths plus 9 tenths i. Okay, and then I work with the left hand side. If I expand this top bracket, I'm going to end up with 2 plus 2 bi plus bi minus b squared all over. 
1 plus b squared. And again, that is still the same on the right hand side. Okay, and once I've got that, um, all I need to do now is uh, compare the real part and compare the imaginary parts. So if I split this left hand side fraction into real and imaginary, well, the real part is going to be 2 minus b squared over 1 plus b squared. And then the imaginary part is going to be i lots of. 2b uh, plus b, so that's going to simplify to 3b, 1 plus b squared equals 7 tenths plus 9 tenths. I like that. Okay, um, and now I've basically in effect got two equations. I know that the real part here, 2 minus b squared over 1 plus b squared, must be the same as the real part here and equally the imaginary part here has to be the same as the imaginary part here so I can now set that up as two different separate equations. I've got 2 minus b squared over 1 plus b squared must be equal to 7 tenths and I've got 3b over 1 plus b squared must be equal to 9 tenths. Okay, so I've got two different equations. Uh, it's now just going to be a case of rearranging this and then basically trying to use my quadratic formula or possibly factorizing to solve it. Um, and if I basically do a little bit of rearranging, I'm going to get 10 2 minus b squared equals 7 1 plus b squared. And, and hopefully from here we would be okay on how to solve that, basically rearrange it so it looks like a normal quadratic equally. So the first step again on this one would be 3b times by 10 equals 9 times 1 plus b squared. As before, just rearrange it, we end up with a quadratic. Uh, we, solve, we can solve it using the quadratic formula. Um, if we look at the first solution, uh, we will get b is equal to plus or minus 3 and if we look at the second solution we get b equals one third or 3 well in this case here 3 is the common solution for both of them therefore b is 3 is the solution that satisfies both of those equations so therefore yes there is therefore b must be equal to 3 Okay, question number three. We have z equals b plus i all squared, and b is real and positive, and I, I know that the arg of z is 60 degrees. Okay, it's probably worth just kind of clarifying what all this means. So there we go. This angle here, so theta is going to be 60 degrees. And now b, b is real and positive, so because b is real and positive, we're going to get an angle that looks this way, because this, um, yes, we're going to go along this way. If, if b was negative, then we would be going the opposite way. But b is positive, so we're going this way. Um, and basically, to find out this angle, well, what do we do? We, we're going to do, this is the imaginary part. This is the real part here, and using uh, trigonometry, because this is a right angle triangle, we'd be using uh, tan theta equals well, opposite over adjacent, so imaginary over real. Okay, so if we can basically work out the imaginary and the real part of this, we can in effect use this formula here and remember this is just simply come from Sokotoa. Um, so well let's actually expand out this bracket so z is going to be equal to b squared plus 2bi and then i times i 
it's going to be minus 1. And I know that the argument of this is 60. Now, again, just, so you're just using this uh, formula here, if I do the imaginary part divided by the real part, well, the imaginary part is 2b. So I can basically rewrite this as tan theta equals, well, the imaginary is 2b, and the real is b squared minus 1. Now, I've already been told that the angle is 60, so I can actually put that in as well. So I've actually got tan of 60 equals 2b over b squared minus 1. Okay, and then well, if, I, if I remember my angles, uh, tan 60 is actually root 3, so 2b over b squared minus, that's a minus there, minus 1. Um, and as before, as before, I'm just going to be able to rearrange this and then solve it as a quadratic. So I'm going to end up with root 3 b squared minus 1 equals 2b. Let's just make that clear. It's a negative there. Um, and yes, once again, we've just got a quadratic. Uh, we just need to rearrange. So I'm going to have root 3 b squared minus root 3 minus 2b equals to 0. I uh, use my calculator, I uh, use the quadratic formula, factorize, okay, whichever method, whichever method you can use. Um, I will finally end up with uh, two possible answers. Um, but if I go back to this initial question, uh, b is real and positive, so I have to take the positive answer. And so my final positive answer is b is equal to root 3.